and welcome to Wired Airy. Today, we're gonna push up some brush piles. We didn't quite get there, so we have to get it off the, the neighbor's field. So we're just gonna push them up in the fence line. We had intentions to burn, but apparently for the last month that I've been waiting for a burning permit, it is not okay in our county to burn. So we're just gonna push stuff into the tree line or into the fence line. So let's get to it. We just about got everything cleaned up. I don't know if you guys can see out there. I, this winter, there was an epic battle out here. I forgot to record it. It was the battle of hack a tree. It was the trees versus the saws. The trees definitely outnumbered the saws, but one by one, the saws took each tree to earth. It was a glorious battle. Now we got the neighbor side of the field all cleaned up real nice. We started with his side. Because I'm a, I'm a decent human being and I uh, respect other people's property, so I cleaned up uh, the mess we made over there. All right, you're in wire vision. And dig a hole and bury those. new weapon of mass destruction. So far I am getting the hang of it. It's extremely gutless right now because there's a code that popped up. It's, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's apparently a code. We'll get rid of it. But anyways, that has to do with emissions. Papers, that's loud. So anyways, with that emissions code, it derates the power of the motor and it makes it gutless. Now I called last Friday for somebody to come and look at it. It is Saturday, May 1st today. And nobody has been out because they have apparently more important things to do than to tend to me. So there's that. I would assume it has to do with the COVID sweepstakes. You now they they can't uh, find enough people to work for them due to the COVID sweepstakes. And now if anybody is confused what the COVID sweepstakes are, it's where every loser is a winner. Thanks to our government handing out COVID checks. They think it's a great idea, but because of that, now we are dealing with a labor shortage. Some of you may not know that, but we are. And at some point, if you continue to have nobody working the labor shortage is going to get worse and worse and worse and the whole point of the 
the COVID relief is to keep people from starving, but by what they're doing, it's actually amplifying the chance of starvation, believe it or not. Because without a labor force, at some point, it'll be like week one of COVID. There will be no food in the grocery store. But I am just a dumb farmer with no uh, college education. So what would I know? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Attack! We missed. Attack! Da -dum! So if anybody's wondering, I enjoy having an excavator. Once we get it fixed, it'll be more fun. But for now, we'll just keep on keeping on in fire vision. The new government motto should be, all aboard the COVID train. Next stop, starvation. And we're, we're checking out a new uh, GPS, Warrior Star 2.0. So far, it's not very good. The original Warrior Star is clearly better than Warrior Star 2.0. But we're giving them a chance. And they'll never learn if you don't let them drive. Right now. Yeah. He's busy concentrating. So we're out here doing this field and we'll see what happens. But we want to get out on this field. That way if it does rain a bunch, we'll have knocked the alfalfa down. Because in the past we've let it go and then it's got wet. And then when the alfalfa gets really carried away, it makes for a really crappy and rough field because you get a bunch of piles everywhere because the alfalfa just kind of drags along. So we've learned the hard way, like most things, get out and take care of it before it's a problem and worry about it later. And this poor old boy is driving today because his brother got to go to a baseball game. And this is what he got to do so that he didn't cry about going to a baseball game. Right. And we're getting better and better, so that's what counts. But we were hoping to run RTK Wire, wire Star this year and uh, he ain't anything close to RTK yet, so you'll have that. But 
I think we're going to wrap up the video here. We will find somebody to tell you a joke. What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? What? Supplies! <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and don't forget to drink at least one glass of milk, maybe four, it don't matter. Eat some cheese, and have a good one. <laughs>